You're watching Maryland's first television station. Now, WMAR 2 News at 5. Welcome into WMAR 2 News at 5. I'm Kelly Sweep. As you see, Jamie Costello is on assignment and he will join us later. And I'm Mallory Safaste. A 40 year old woman shot to death in an MDOT parking lot in South Baltimore last night. WMAR 2 News' Brittany Verner went back to where it happened and brings us more details about that incident. Tuesday, a woman was gunned down in this parking lot. Crews are still here right now cleaning up the aftermath. Now people who work here are talking about what happened. I was relieving her on the bus uh, a couple of months ago. But I see they cleaned up the area, so it must be where it happened there. Since Tuesday afternoon around 5, this shooting has been the topic of discussion for people who work at MDOT MTA in South Baltimore after a woman was gunned down inside an employee parking lot. I was on the bus going down Washington Boulevard. As I was going down the street, the police were coming up the street, and I had no idea they were coming here. Police responded to that parking lot to find a 40-year-old woman who had been shot several times. She was then rushed to shock trauma where she died. And at least four people who work at MDOT MTA, including this bus driver, said that woman who died was also an MDOT MTA employee. If this is the same person, she was a nice girl. Another bus and the operator told me that they came over the radio and told everybody not to use this entrance because something just happened. I'm devastated by it. I think it's hard. MDOT officials responded in a statement saying, quote, MDOT MTA police continue to work alongside Baltimore City Police to investigate the incident. Given the investigation is still active, they can't comment further, unquote. But even city leaders like Mayor Brandon Scott expressed heartfelt empathy for what happened. I'll just say that it's, it's an unspeakable tragedy and BPD is currently working out leads and we hope uh, to be able to bring this person to justice for the family, for the community, for everyone that works at that facility. Now other employees are concerned about their safety inside that parking lot moving forward. I heard somebody was waiting for her all day in the parking lot. And I'm, and I'm not sure he was supposed to be here. Well, MTA operators, they don't, I mean, they, they just assume anybody that comes on the MTA operator. There are still lots of unanswered questions here, like who the person was who fired that gun and how they got in this parking lot in the first place. Those are some of the questions we are working to get answered. Brittany Verner, WMAR 2 News.